Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Mantex Tutorials. My name is MG Men, your regular host. Today's tutorial is going to be on Adobe Photoshop. I have three really interesting topics to discuss today. First, I'm going to teach you guys how to use the Content Aware tool. Secondly, I'm going to create a text masking. Really interesting. And finally, I'm going to teach you guys how to export bitmaps from Photoshop with transparent background um before we continue please if you are new to my channel hit the red button below that says subscribe and very very important turn on notifications so you get notified in my future videos again i like to disclaim that what i record the video tutorial i record is strictly for educational purposes so please if you see me do something on photoshop don't go out there and use it in a negative way All right so without wasting so much of your time, let's get right to it. With me here, I have, um, I have two bitmap files. All right. Okay, so by the way, I'm using um, Adobe Photoshop CC 2020. And uh, the first thing we would like to do, let me work on this identity card. Remember, I said everything I do here is strictly for educational purposes. So don't go and fake identity or use it, the knowledge you gain here in a negative way. All right, so the Content Aware tool in Photoshop lets you to, can I say magically, anyway, makes life easy. Makes you to delete or cover uh, uh, just about anything within your uh, uh, bitmap. Okay, so I'm going to start off with, let me see the card number here. To do content aware, I have to make sure that my rectangular market tool is selected. And then I'm going to come here. Control plus to zoom in. I'm going to select this guy. Like this. Now, to do content aware, you have to hold down shift and hit backspace. It brings it up, content aware. Make sure the mode is normal, opacity is 100, and then you hit okay. Then you see the magic. Now, there's something I didn't do right. My selection was not great. I'm going to come back here. Perfect, like magic. So I'm going to select this guy again. Uh, shift backspace. Okay, okay. As a problem there, I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to select this guy. Make it my selection. Shift backspace content aware. Enter. Okay, problem here too. So I'm going to come down here. Try to make out on this guy. Control. Wow, this is perfect. This is perfect. Okay. I'm going to see what I can do here. Customer, I'm going to check this check boxes. What do I have? <coughs> Perfect. Okay. It even takes away the one from the next box. Okay, so that's the content aware too. I have an imperfect job here. Let me try a few more. Let me try this guy here. And uh, awesome. Not really awesome per se. Okay, so there's something more I'd like to show you. Let me reduce this. Now, there are instances when you are really not going to get a perfect job. Like there are cases whereby the content aware tool is not ideal for the job. For instance, I have 
Let me return to my selection tool. I have with me here okay so here you can see that the 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 job is not very perfect right i can see sex height and uh, it's not really cool now i can what can i do to correct this i can use the clone stamp tool easy so what i can do now is i'm going to sample i'm going to hold down alt sample this place and then hold down shift clean clean i'm going to hold down alt again to sample and then i'm going to clean hold down alt to sample i'm going to clean hold down alt to sample i'm going to clean hold down alt perfect i'm going to come here and do the same thing hold down alt to sample Hold on shift to clean. Hold on alt to sample. Hold on shift to clean. Alt clean. Perfect. I'm going to come here and do the same thing. Perfect. All right. Okay. So you can there's a whole lot of tools you can use but basically you've seen the content aware in action so in cases whereby the content aware didn't give you a, a really cool or good job you can always use the clone stamp tool to augment it and get a really fine job anyway that's the content aware tool and the rectangular marquee tool so quickly i'm going to move on to the next bitmap here see what i can do so I have, by a mere looking at this, you will imagine this should be easy, right? So let me zoom in and try the content aware. I'm going to control Z. I'm going to highlight. Okay. Hold on, shift, backspace. Content aware. Uh, I should get a perfect job, but this is what I got. What can I do? Let me try the clone stamp to Can you help me? Okay. Okay. This is really cool. Let me zoom in a little bit. So I sample, I clean. I sample, I clean.
All right. So, um, what I can say here is, the, you know, it's not, it's, it's, a, it's different strokes for different folks. So there are always instances whereby the content aware tool is not going to be magical. And then the clone stamp tool can always step in to save the day. So if you use the content aware tool and uh, you didn't get a fine job, I said again, you can just use a clone stamp tool like that to uh, fine tune and uh, finish the job. Okay, so that is content aware tool. I'm going to close these guys. No, I want to close this guy. No. Secondly, I'm going to create a text mask. So I'm going to have a bitmap behind, and then I'm going to have a text in such a way that text is going to be transparent with the bitmap behind it. So quickly, let me import a file, a color file. Um, control O. I have this smoky background. Perfect. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is convert it to normal layer and then hold down control T for free transform. Okay. I don't want to scale it. Let me do it the way it is. Okay. So I'm going to get a, by the way, let me open my layers. I'm going to get a text to horizontal type to, and I'm going to type here control Z. All right, to type where I can see where I'm typing. Okay, quickly. Man tech. And tech tutorials. Back to I move to quickly. It has created another layer here. If you can see it, my tech tutorials. So what I'm going to do here now is let me quickly get to my properties. Okay. So I'm going to change a few things like the size. I'm going to change it to say 200. Okay, 200 is good. And I'm also going to change the color to white. I'm going to the spectrum here. I need a white color. Okay. All right. And then I'm also going to change the font type. I need bold. Okay. Well, this is not bold enough for me. I'm going to change the font type. Let me get, get me a font type that is really bold. Sample, not you. Not you. Okay, maybe you. And tech tutorials. All right. So 200 PTV. Everything looks cool. So I'm going to go out of here, drag it here. And uh, let me see if I can scale it. All right. By the way, to scale, I hold down Control T for free transform. And I'm able to move it around. All right. So in order for me to create a mask, I'm going to open my layers. I need to place this guy on top of the text. 
Now I'm going to close this guy, come down to layer. Make sure that this layer zero, that's the color, the smoke color is selected. Come to layer and then click on create clipping mask. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so I like this view, but there's only one problem. I can see the, the, the checkbox in my background and I don't like it. I would like to have a plain white background. What can I do? I'm quickly going to create another layer here. And I'm going to come to edit fill. I need to fill it with white. Oh. I need to come here, fill, fill it with white. No, no more. All right, perfect. Okay, so what I need to do now is to drag this guy under everybody. Perfect. So I have my max, and by the way, I can adjust it. I can move my color if i wish i can do Control t for free transform i can scale it you know can do a lot of things and here i want it okay so that is um um that's for masking next i'm going to i'm going to close this guy first All right, guys, so the last thing I want to do is to show you how we can export, um, how we can export a bitmap with a transparent background. Quickly, let me import the project file. I have my little man tech logo here. Now, this, what I want is to have this logo without the white background. Okay, so many times when you're working with pictures or project on a, a Photoshop and you want to export it with transparent background, but I did this, I designed this in Corel Draw and look what I got, a white background. I don't want a white background. What I want is a transparent background. So how can I achieve that? First, before we get to it, because this one already has a white background, so obviously I'm going to need to correct it before I export it with transparent background. We need to understand picture um, file format, as bitmap file format. So it is very important to know that the only format that can give you a transparent background is the PNG, Portable Network Graphic Format. So if you export your project work or your bitmap in JPEG, GIF and uh, other format, you're not going to get um, you're not going to get transparent background. So if you need to get transparent background, you need to export it as PNG. So having said that, what do I need to do to correct this file first before I export? I'm going to unlock this, convert it to normal layer so that I can not you. So that I can move it around. So I'm going to keep it here. Now, quickly, in order for me to extract my logo from the background, leave the background, I'm going to use the object selection tool. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to zoom in. And then, okay, I'm going to cut. I'm going to, let me just click on enhance edge to get the smooth work. I'm going to cut. I'm going to control X. Now, control X, down. Matrix. Matrix. All right, perfect. So 
I have succeeded in taking out the background. What I have here is transparent, like I can see the checker box is transparent. What I need to do now is return to my move tool. What I need to do now is to export. So I'm going to go to file, export, export as. Okay. Good. So you can see I'm exporting as PNG, not GI, not JPEG, not SVG, whatever. So I'm exporting as PNG and then you make sure you toggle the checkbox here that says transparency. Otherwise, see what you get. So I'm going to make sure I enable transparency and then without much um I'm going to export it as a transparency trans currency export it to desktop. Okay, so I'm quickly going to go to my desktop and give you the file. All right, so you can see that it's transparent. I mean, the outline here is white, but if you put the picture in a black background, you're going to see that it's really transparent. For instance, let me show you. This is um, Photoshop. I'm going to create another layer. And then I'm going to create another project here. Create. <coughs> All right, I'm going to unlock this guy, create another layer. Then I'm going to fill this layer with black. All right, then I'm going to open desktop. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do this then. So, this layer, I'm going to fill this layer. Let me see, edit, fill, black. Okay, so I'm going to drag this guy over here. All right, so you can see no more white background, but transparent background. So, the mission accomplished. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for staying tuned. I hope this tutorial has been informative for you. If so, remember to hit the red button below that says subscribe. Very, very important. Turn on notifications so you get notified in my future tutorials. Thank you once again. I will see you guys in my next tutorials. Bye.